All right, something that um, we don't see every day here in the Better Studio. Yeah, rainbow boas, thankfully. <laughs> These fascinating, slithery creatures are native to Brazil, but you're going to find them at the Roger Williams Park Zoo. Dr. Jeremy Goodman is here. And he is the executive director. He's here to tell us more about Laurel. Yes, this is Hi, Laurel. Laurel. And uh, Laurel. we have uh, Hardy back at the zoo. So, uh, Laurel and seriously, Hardy. Seriously. did you name them Laurel and Hardy? What is, uh, we, we did what is actually. Along with yeah. you, I love you. That's we like so to have fantastic. Fun at the zoo, so. That's great. Does he so, want to yeah. smell me? So What's these he doing? Are, uh, yeah, he's just checking everything out. That's how they explore with their tongues. You can see them, you know, kind of slithering and uh, just checking out. Probably senses the heat from your body. So, so I'm not, uh, not going to see this in the woods of Connecticut. No, these are from uh, the jungles of the Amazon. So from um, Brazil, Venezuela, places like that. And uh, they have this beautiful rainbow sheen to them. They have this iridescent sheen on their scales. You can pick it up in the right lighting. Um, and you know, with between their pattern and this iridescence, they really camouflage very well, um, which helps them capture their prey as well as uh, hide from predators as well. It's now I know people at home are worried about us right now. They're like, oh my god. Gosh, look how close they are to it. You say this kind of snake no one needs to be afraid of? Right. They're not venomous. They are uh, what's known as constrictors, like a boa constrictor. They're in the constrictor family. So you can see how they coil around and yeah. they can, you know, they're, they're pretty strong actually. They can really squeeze pretty tight. But uh, for a person, there's nothing to really worry about. I was, we were just during the commercial break, Kara was asking, actually begging to hold it. <laughs> So I, I've got to so go right ahead, Karen. All right, okay. So, so is it safe just, to hold? Yeah, he will just wrap himself around, around you, me? actually. Do I want him not to around wrap your waist, around, around me? Not around your arms. Oh, just yeah, to my just arm. Push. Yeah, I'm okay with my arm. Maybe not my neck or anything but else. But you can really Do see, Jeremy. Do you like Jeremy, my dress? <laughs> I, I know you can't see it at home, but you can really see the, the, the rainbow colors when it gets into a certain lighting. It's such a beautiful creature. It really is. And, uh, you know, it, snakes just get a bad rap, but they really are, are a docile. A bad rap, you get it? <laughs> I get it. A bad Oh, 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 he's squeezing. Hi, yeah, Laurel. They are pretty strong. So, uh, <laughs> should I put my... oh, can I have my hand back? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, so, um, yeah. Laurel's one of our ambassador animals at the zoo, and uh, we take uh, Laurel out to classes and we teach all kids and That means and he's whatnot. well behaved. He's very, very well okay. behaved. <laughs> how, how, what's life expectancy of a snake like this? Um, so, he can live up to about 20 years or so. That's a pretty good life, yep. right? And uh, he was born in another zoo. He was born at uh, the Pueblo Zoo, and uh, which is where we uh, got him and uh, Hardy from. Wow, and that's the grip a, on this thing. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I, and that's something people don't realize <laughs> is that yeah, most of our animals come from other zoos. Um, okay. Yeah, we don't uh, bring them in from the wild or anything right. like that. They're they're usually born in captivity. They're, they're and, not a good house pet, right, Jeremy? Um, you know, some snakes. Uh, if you know exactly what you're doing, um, they can be good house pets. This particular one is a little bit trickier, so I wouldn't uh, recommend the rainbow bow for a pet. Okay. Um, but if uh, you know, you were looking for something like a ball python, might be a good starter snake, but you have to make sure that you do your research, that you know exactly what you're getting into. You know, these things eat uh, rodents, so. Um, Live you know, rodents? Uh, no, uh, we feed all of ours um, like killed rodents, so. Frozen? Um, okay. we, we thaw them out, and, uh, but you know, there's a lot that goes into caring for an animal like this. And yeah. at the zoo, you know, we, we have experts and professionals that really know exactly what they're doing. We have full time veterinarians and uh, reptile keepers, so. Um, it really is the best place to appreciate an animal like this is at the Roger Williams Park Zoo. So. What's going on at the zoo? Are you doing that pumpkin thing? We always do the pumpkin I love thing. The we are so thing. excited about yeah. the Jack Lantern Spectacular. Tickets are on sale right now. Um, get them early. We have a great Over 5, show. Over 5,000 pumpkins, right? 5,000 pu pumpkins carved. Uh, Elvis, beautiful Elvis, Marilyn Monroe, everything. And, and this year, um, we have a, a magical theme. Uh, we're, the theme is uh, you know through the, throughout the libraries and all the books, and we're featuring a lot of really cool like wizarding themes and superheroes. Oh. So oh, cool. uh, a lot, a lot of fun stuff. Uh, you know, and we have our special theme nights as well, where we have costume characters. That this year on select nights, so um, definitely you got to come out and check it out and get your tickets early. Wow. Okay, this is All fantastic. Right. How do you so, know it's a male or a female? <laughs> yeah. I know, a stupid question. Or well, we're going to keep this a, a G-rated show, yeah, right. um, but um, actually by their cloaca, um, they, some, the males sometimes have spurs, so uh, it's uh, relatively easy to, to tell the difference okay. if, if know, you know what you're looking for. That. Yeah. You know, I don't like spiders and snakes, and that ain't what it takes to love me, but, <laughs> you know. Go anytime. And for more information about the hours at the Open or to plan your trip to the annual Jack O' Lantern Spectacular, head to rwpzoo.org. The park is located in Providence, Rhode Island. It's just so close. It's so close and such a great zoo.